In the last 10 years or so in this country, there's been a lot of effort to try and work to improve the media literacy of children and adults across the country so that people are better able to engage with what's becoming a very complex and fast-changing media landscape. I think when we began really putting a lot of effort uh, a few years ago into promoting media literacy in this country, uh, there was a population that was kind of ready and willing to learn a lot of the messages and you could see the, those initial improvements in people's ability to use uh, critique and create communication. Now media literacy promoters have two challenges. One is to include those who were left out of that kind of initial increase and improvement and the second is to take everybody forward because deciding uh, how to manage your personal data, um, how to make judgments about the quality of information, um, how to trust certain kinds of resources and reject others, these decisions are all much harder and promoting them, not just to schools who uh, where you know the children are in the classroom and you have access to them, but to the whole public who may not be attending, who are very busy with other things and have all kinds of other challenges in their lives. That's a really hard task and it will take resources. Uh, I think it simply has to take uh, budget and uh, efforts on the part of multiple stakeholders uh, and that I think should include the industry who are producing these very welcome but also very uh, technically and legally complex tools that everyone is now using.